Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Noor Networks. In this tutorial, we are going to prepare the prerequisites which will be helpful to proceed with our lab. This is our lab topology where we have a big IP LTM appliance and on the internal side we have three web servers on the external side we have one client machine and apart from that one thing which i am missing over here is the management machine management machine will be basically a machine which we will be using for the configuration purpose of big ip you can do the administration and management of the big ip appliance through that particular machine so that we will be adding and nothing to worry about when we will be doing a lab on networking at that time i will show you like how you will be preparing this particular lab to proceed further i will be explaining you in detail about vmware networking how the network adapters will be used for, for the big ip each and everything will be in detail but for now what we are going to do is we will be preparing the web server the major prerequisite which i could see over here to proceed with the lab is we need a web server the three web server we require over here so over here in this tutorial i will be preparing one web server and the rest two you have to do as it is i will show you how to do it so let's proceed with the uh, i mean i can say the prerequisite where we are going to prepare one web server for our lab and the rest two you can follow in the same way now we are going to open the vmware so guys over here you can see web server one is the one which i have created for now okay just forget this ad server web server and all because this we won't be using the web server one i have already created which is a windows 10 machine uh, with a memory of 2 gb hard disk you can take 40 gb also that is enough processor one is enough network adapter and all we will change as per our network design when we will proceed further and anyhow i will be making some more changes in the uh, network diagram our lab topology for the better understanding i will be adding a vm network also over there so that you can understand very clearly now let's power on this virtual machine guys if you can see the machine ip address for the web server one should be 10.1.1.10 so we will be configuring this ip address with the default gateway 10.1.1.100 it is not visible but the default gateway will be the this one the internal uh, interface ip address apart from this vmware networking we will do all of the together so that you will have a better understanding because in this lab topology i have not even added the vmware networking but in the coming tutorial when actually we will be doing a lab these are the prerequisites when we will be doing a lab at that time i will add a vmware networking as well for you so over here the very first we are going to change the ip address even you can use a windows 7 machine also if uh, you have or windows 10 is absolutely uh, let's make it to 10.1.1.10 subnet mask 255.255.255.0 and the default gateway will be 10.1.1.100 as per our network design the dns server we don't need it now if you can keep it whatever if you have it's okay if not then also okay click on okay over here click okay to save the configuration you have changed the ip address of your machine now now we will proceed to the web server configuration the very first step what you have to do is you will go to control panel over here going to control panel go to programs and features turn windows features on or off over here we are going to turn on the iis services if you will see this is internet information service iis 
this we are going to open and let's open the FTP server also. In the coming time, we will be doing a FTP uh, pool also. Uh, that is a different topic. Anyhow, I will explain. But for now, this is the requirement because this is our future requirement. Uh, along with IIS, just uh, open this FTP server also. Click on OK. Close this. Now your IIS services are enabled. We will start to create one page over here. See, uh, you could uh, you can create a test page, but you know what I am going to do is we will write a small HTML page over here. Uh, for that, what you have to do, click on right click new, or you simply you have to open the Notepad, basically, guys. Let's open the notepad directly. And you can simply write test and you can save it. But instead of that, uh, let's uh, write a small HTML code. So for that, very first, you have to start open the HTML. Then we will add a small title. Open the title. Uh, let's give the title name web server one. <coughs> over here, just add a note that sim whatever we are doing over here to create a web server, similar thing we are going to do in web server two and web server three. Only the title will be web uh, it's web server one over here. Over there it will be web server two and web server three respectively. So once you have created the title, let's close this title now. For closing, you will be using this thing. The slash means you are closing. Whatever you are opening, you are using the slash to close it. Hit enter. Let's create a HTML body. For doing so, it's the same thing. Open the body. Now note down one thing you have you want the page to be in the center right so write center then over here write server one and just one thing guys remove this uh, title as web server one just skip web server because for identification purpose i am saying when we will be doing the lab at that time i will show you why we have uh, done this purposely so it says server one and thereafter you have to go to the second line. So you will break the, this line. So the syntax is br for breaking this line. Then add the subject, uh, not subject, the content I can say, page content. Uh, let's give the page content as welcome to okay web application welcome to web application server and you have to again break the line and one more thing one more line we will add as fi load balancer lab practice Guys, I would have shown you straight away like just simply creating a, a page with hi everyone or test something. But I want a small, uh, you know, HTML page to be created. So it will, you will get a real feel in the lab. Now, once we have created a title, we have written a body in the center. Now is the time to close all the tag which we have opened. So if you see the center tab is open, so we'll close the center tag now. Then you can see the body tag is also open, right? So we will close the body tag also. Is there any else? Uh, HTML uh, is also open, right? So we will close the HTML also. 
Now what you are going to do? We have created a small HTML page over here. Just simply save as uh, web server dot HTML and save as type all files and you can save it over here on the desktop for the while save it close it now if you will try to open this you should be able to see that HTML page over here see you are able to see it is in the center with the server one as a a heading over here then the content over here and even the title web server over here okay so means uh, what content we have created is as per our requirement now you will open your explorer file explorer you will go to your c drive then go to inet pub then go to www root folder and over here create one folder with the name web server and this particular file which we have created dot html file we will put it over here click continue now once this is done you will open the iis service iis app you will open over here we are going to create our site just right click over here if you will see this one or else you uh, when you open this over here you will find sites so just add website right click over here and add a website give the name site name web server it is asking for physical path you know where we have kept it in C inet pub ww root and that we have a web server okay then we are going to use http and the ip address of our web server 10.1.1.10 port number is 80 host name we will leave it for now give this check as it is and click on ok this is done now what we are going to do we will make this particular site as a default page so when you go under site the web server which you have recently created just you will find a default document open this document and add over here the name of the site you know the uh, website name the, the file name web server dot html click on ok button once this is done now it is a time to test whether our site is working or not so just clicking over here you will click on browse over here and it should work for you and guys you can see it is working right let me show you again over here in the web server you have to simply browse this and it is working which means that your web server one is created successfully you have created a website in one of your server similarly you are going to create web server 2 and web server 3 the same configuration you will be doing for your web server 2 and web server 3 just to identify uh, make the difference between the server in real environment this is not the case but in our lab we should understand like whenever the traffic is hitting to that particular server how you will understand for that purpose i am writing server 1 server 2 server 3 so in the html page uh, over here you have written server 1 on web server 2 you will write server 2 on web server 3 you will write server 3 once this prerequisite is ready then we can proceed with our lab so guys this is how you will be preparing your prerequisite basically you will be creating your web server for proceeding with your lab that's all guys in this tutorial in the next tutorial uh, we will be downloading the fi load balancer image we will be deploying it in our vmware and necessary configuration licensing part we will complete and then after we will move to the advanced level so that's all guys in this tutorial thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel yet please subscribe it now and do share with your friend thanks and see you in the next tutorial